So, you wanna compete, eh? Oofta. Well, say bye to your little buddy. Let's get you started. Pick your character. Mom! Where's my mac and cheese? Have you guys ever seen Naruto? I'm camping! I'm waiting for the exam! Yo, do you guys think I should call her? Bro, we're only losing because these kids don't go the fuck outside. Yo, let's get these fucking pro points, boys! Woo! Let's go! Baby, I'm cracked! <laughs> Chill out, bro. I can make this fucking game back with a phone call, man. It's just a game. So, who do you pick? Well, I really like Naruto. <sighs> yeah, we've got another one. Alright, so everything important that you do should be posted on Twitter. No excuses everything don't make some long instagram posts or throw your warzone clips on tiktok because that's not going to get you fucking anywhere so on the topic of what you post it's really all about how you present yourself but here's a couple pointers that i can give you after my seven years of failing in this community uh -huh. first things first man it is just like high school we're super diverse and super clicky like there's just so much personality and it heads clash man there's a lot of drama a lot of stupid shit happens but like I said it's just like high school so engage in any interesting conversations you see on the timeline whether it's COD related or not you're gonna make a lot of connections solely based off of that interaction that like I said could have nothing to do with Call of Duty but now you've got a good friend that someone that can help you get somewhere internal temp too high allow it to cool bro you're joking like I said, man, you want to be able to interact with people on real life topics, but just keep in mind, the timeline isn't your personal diary, like I said in the last video. Do not vent to the timeline about your political views, about your depression, about all this shit. Your Twitter profile is your portfolio. If you want to get on a team, you better have a good Twitter. Twitter means everything in Call of Duty. You should almost focus on your Twitter game as much as you're in game like it's that important your post should consist of searching for people to play with people to play against posting clips that happen in game like if you go off and shit on a bunch of kids put it on twitter uh if something crazy or funny happens put it on twitter um like i said you don't want to lean too far over one way or the other but show people that you have a personality and that you play call of duty you're not just an anime avi and an m4 you can't just talk about your real life all the time like yeah you can talk about it every now and then but it should not be what you're tweeting 24 7. now let's talk about the cryptic tweets that you're gonna see they're gonna leave you like what ts tens pps wage so ts means team scrim now funny story when i first got into call of duty I was a fanboy of fear, like I, you guys saw I had that fear hoodie. Um, I was a huge fanboy of Moho especially, and I saw it on his Twitter, he tweeted out TS, and I was like, trick shot, Moho trick shots? And that's when he explained to me, no, TS, LOL, and I felt so embarrassed. I realized that I did not explain what scrims are. Essentially, this is where you go to practice with your team against other teams to try out rosters, try out new plays, to learn the game, to practice. This is like showing up to practice, getting your coach with your water bottles and running your practice drills, whatever you gotta do. Find your flaws and perfect them here so you don't have to do it in those challenger tournaments or those pro point games. Now, tens are pretty much like going to the basketball court and throwing up pickup games. A lot of people will throw money on this. Like I said, this is a great place to build some connections. You're pretty much picking teams and proving yourself that you belong on the team for next picks. And if you're captain, you pretty much get to pick your team. If you know who's in the game, 
can win some money and show your dominance and that way you're gonna build like i said some more connections hopefully that can take you into the next thing which is pps also known as pro points these are going to be essential something i did not do at literally at all i think i played one this year um pro points like i said they're essential if you're trying to compete you have to get the seeds you have to get your placings and pro points mean everything you can get i believe it's it's a certain amount every day i feel stupid i need to search this up hold on all right man this is gonna be the most low tier question you've ever been asked get like two to three pro points a day bro and don't forget about your pro points on sundays too because that, that ends up fucking a lot of people like so you gotta do that you get you get 20 pro points yeah bro you just you play pro points sunday through friday you get two pro points a day and then you have your hundred and then you don't even have to play any on Saturday. You just play Sunday through Friday, two pro points a day. Um, get your two wins, your 20 pro points a day, and then that's 20 times Friday equals 100. You heard it here first, folks. It's Noah Hydro for you. If you guys already know what wagers, pro points, and tournaments are, and you want to skip all of the tutorial and walkthroughs, skip to 1130. Thank you. If you guys want to play pro points like I was showing, search gamebattles.com, make an account. It's pretty simple, just follow the easy steps. You're going to want to go to Modern Warfare, click on the PS4 one. You can only play on PS4. And then you're going to find these qualifiers. You're going to find challenger points. And this is where you're going to do it. You're going to create a team. You can do this all on mobile as well. There is an iPhone app and I believe an Android app. Uh, I would suggest, you know, scrolling through, looking at some of these people in those standings and following them on Twitter. Uh, I know personally, Theory Nation. Some of these guys are pretty big on Twitter. Kush Point, Dustman, Shoxy, especially. He's third on GB, so, hmm. There's a, all of them, 35 tournaments, you know, 11 ladders. You can do so much on this shit. Um, if you want to play differently for money, however, here's another site that I can show you guys. This is going to take us straight into wage or wagers. So we're going to take you to checkmategaming.com, also known as CMG. Okay, we're going to create an account. <coughs> All right, man. After struggling like a bitch to get my password correct, we finally got in here. So, it's gonna try and show you your way around through here, but pretty much the only important things you need to know are here's the home page, as you can tell. This is where you're gonna really see some of the main tournaments for the day. Uh, as you can see, you know, ten dollar prize free entry. That's nothing crazy. That's a community tournament, you know. But then they've got other things, you know, like five credits, which five credits is $3.70. If you want to figure out, you go to your shop. This is how you buy credits, pretty much the same way as on GB. And then uh, if you want to play a little bit differently, it's called challenges. This is where you wage or chow against people. So, you're gonna, gonna just click on this one. Click on PS4, Xbox One, and uh, we're gonna make a, a solos team. But you can see all these games that are going on right now. You put, you know, a little McChicken down, you know, four quarters. Or you can create a match and you can play for as much as you want. So, see how it says custom amount? You can do like a thousand if you wanted. You can play for as much as you want. As long as you've got it in your account, you can play for it. Uh, and then you just, available now, schedule for later if you wanted. Best of one means one map, obviously. Three maps, uh, first person win two. I said three maps. Three maps, first person to two wins. And five is obviously five maps, first person to three wins. So I would suggest staying on your continent. Please do not pick all regions. You're stupid if you do. Um, CDL or CMG really only two things you should be
playing. If you want to play the rest, you can, but I mean, that's up to you. Uh, I would suggest no PC and controller only. Continue, pick your roster, find your game. You have it. The amount that you earn will show up on your profile. So it says your earnings right here. So there's a leaderboard feature. And boom, like, look at all these guys. Bunch of fucking money earned. Bunch of fucking money earned. See that? Let's see. That is a hundred thousand dollars of Call of Duty. The dude's a beast. He is out of this world, literally. That is not English. I do not know what that is. Now there's also a feature. Well, we're gonna go right back. I don't know why that shit took us to this. Oh my god, I'm in Spanish CMG. What the? F what is happening? <laughs> I'm in Spanish CMG. What? <laughs> I want to go back, man. Find teammates. There we go. You're going to see this come up. This is where you can find either people to play with or against. Anyway, you can also do XP ladders on this as well if you want to just play and rank up. Dude, why am I so Spanish? <laughs> what you, language even is this? This is... What? There we go. It's like pig Latin or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so if you have a really creative mind, there's lots of ways that you can fit into this community. You don't just have to be good at the game to make something out of it. Find the thing you're passionate about in this ethos and create something cool out of it because there's not many other people doing it. Since we're talking about creating content, it really does not matter if you believe you're creative or not. I mean, just look at Skump. He started with uploading just pub stomping gameplays, nothing else to it, like no editing, nothing. and. He's the biggest YouTuber in our community with 2.5 million subscribers. So there's no excuses for this one, man. Put out as much content as humanly possible. Nobody's gonna know if you're good or not unless they play with you. And even then, it doesn't mean as much as it used to. So get your content out there, make a little brand of yourself, let people know that you're good, and eventually you'll go somewhere. So. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of the day. It's Bro Gersos. I'm out.